NASDAQ closing up nearly 29 points. Well, if you've been thinking about getting a pet, boy, we've got some real cuties for you. Dick joins us now with a few pets who are up for adoption. Dick. Well, the dog days began July 3rd. They go for 40 days until August 11th. And could you help us out with these tonight? This is Bongo. What a wonderful dog. He's a few years old, maybe five, maybe seven. But the owner had to give him up because he lost his job, and he loves this Bongo so much. Bongo is a Collie Shepherd mix. That's a great combo. Is neutered, has had all the shots, is housebroken, laid back, and a mellow, friendly, gentle dog. He's good with other dogs, good with older kids. And uh, Bongo's living in a boarding kennel for now. Jeannie has brought him in and just met Bongo today. Yes, he did. Does he like mm -hmm. the ride? Yeah, he's Kitty? great. He's Bongo, hey, can you help us out? This guy, again, a few years old, but he's got a lot of, a lot of miles on him yet. A wonderful dog, great for your kids. That's a Collie Shepherd mix. Did the uh, pet show, the All-American Mud at SeaWorld yesterday. Go on out and see that show. It's terrific. Okay, we don't get a whole lot of calls on cats. There are so many of them out there. But these are beauties tonight. They're always beauties. Molly, one-year-old, female, gray tabby, gentle, petite little lady, spayed all shots, front declawed, was abandoned on the steps of a vet's office, very friendly. Bobby, did we see Bobby? Well, Bobby is a five-year-old male white kitty with gray patches, neutered all shots, and a big friendly cat. We have thundery weather well to the northwest of here, as we showed you earlier, and uh, it's going to be gradually dropping down to the southeast. Our next computer will show for the boaters that the winds eventually tomorrow southwesterly, uh, 15 to 25, waves will be picking up. Boaters, have your uh, weather radio on board if you uh, are going out tomorrow. That's that 24 hour from the National Weather Service. Here's the airflow aloft that is uh, bringing in the heat tomorrow. It's going to be a one-day heat wave if there is such a thing. And uh, we will see the front there and the thundery weather that I think is going to be developing tomorrow. Now, over the first eight days of July, we've had two days, the first and the sixth, in which we had some really thundery weather that tomorrow might qualify. Uh, clouds arrive through the night, dry. Join us at 10. We'll update you. 63, the overnight low. And then uh, for the day tomorrow, we are going to see some sun mixing with clouds, a changeable sky. The chances will get thundered on, increasing through the uh, late morning and afternoon into tomorrow night. The front in about 8 or 9, 88 to 90 for a high, and a severe thunderstorm box can't be ruled out at this time somewhere in Ohio. 66 tomorrow night, a few showers. Could start cloudy Saturday, 74. Sunshine Sunday and 76 degrees. Okay, it's going to be a great weekend. Don't forget Bobby, 5-year-old male kitty. Okay. He needs a home, too. Dick, that wasn't you panting, was it? <laughs> I think that was a... Uh, Sounded bongo. like it anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. Well, it's all over now. I don't mean the show. I mean Bill Martin's eyesight has been forever changed. It is amazing. He's had laser surgery during the past hour at the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, what's the result? Well, let's go out for one last time to Fox 8 News medical reporter Lou Maglio, who is live at the clinic. Lou. Jim, you said it was amazing. It really is amazing. I wasn't sure I quite believed it could be done this quickly myself. Bill, it's done now in less than an hour. How are you feeling? Nobody will call me four eyes again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, is, uh, it is cool. Everybody has asked me for the past several days, are you nervous? I was a little nervous. As soon as I did the one eye, I wasn't nervous at all anymore. It's far less traumatic. It, there's no pain. Uh, no pressure, no nothing. It's awesome. So I, it's just, I don't know what to say pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Kruger, Dr. Ronald Kruger says they do about a million of these a year now. Now, doctor, explain to me, because I want to make sure I get the terminology right. It's the LASIK procedure using the eczema laser. Did I get it right, Dr. You got it now. All right. LASIK procedure, eczema laser, and it's part of what we call refractive surgery. All right, we've got the videotape. They videotape this thing, and we're going to turn down the lights. I think we're going to see how it looks and roll that videotape. Doctor, give me the play-by-play -play of what's going on in Okay, Timmy. We, we had just made a flap with a precision device, and now we're lifting the flap of the cornea. It's a very thin layer in that outer portion of the eye. And once we line things up, we'll begin the laser treatment. Take I don't them. feel anything, but I can see the laser hitting my eye. But you don't feel anything at all. The laser is actually an invisible laser, but you see a little fluorescence coming off that has a blue color to it. Now it gets kind of dark, but you'll see that blue fluorescence in just a minute really kind of amazing to watch it when it's happening and not being able to feel anything and you know what's going on and he's talking to you. And how precise is this? Obviously, doctor, the terminology, there you see it there right there. There's the blue fluorescence of the laser treatment itself. Once we're done with the laser, we turn on the lights again and we can bring that flap back into position. 
and very quickly uh, he gets some return of vision. Now, what will be the return of vision for him? What are the percentages that you'll get exactly what you hope for, Doug? Well, overall, the percentages are about uh, two-thirds or 70 percent 2020. That includes people with higher levels of corrections and lower levels of corrections. Some of the ones with lower levels of corrections even have a higher percentage of 2020. Somebody was asking me on the phone earlier today, what happens if Bill needs some kind of a surgery, eye surgery later on in life, perhaps he needs a cataract surgery. Will what you did today have any effect on that? It won't have any effect in actually performing the surgery. It's just something that will need to be compensated for at the time. But it can still allow someone to have cataract surgery very easily in the future. Hey, Tim, we don't have much time left. I know you had a couple of questions maybe done. Yeah. Anything on your mind? Well, you know, Lou, so many of us wear bifocals, and we'd love to throw them away. And I know it's effective for, uh, for Bill. Mm -hmm. But what about people who are uh, farsighted? People who are far-sighted, doctor, this doesn't work for them. Well, actually, it does work for them. The initial procedures were approved for nearsightedness and astigmatism, but now the FDA is beginning to approve far-sightedness, and either it's a part of a study that might be done with the FDA or a fully approved uh, process, but it's now available for people with far-sightedness. This is why we have the doctor here to answer <laughs> those questions. <laughs> yeah, I've questions. actually been corrected one eye more than the other, so I, so I, I guess I have an organic bifocal right now. Right, but right. You're actually uh, what we call monovision, which means that one eye is corrected for distance and the other eye is corrected for intermediate range, so you can still read and everything past the age of 40. We got a number we're going to put on the screen, but first we got another question from Tim and Ordana. What's up, guys? Well, Lou, I'm wondering what the recovery time is like. When is Bill going to be back reading scripts and doing what he normally does? Bill plans to take a couple of years off. <laughs> <laughs> what is the recovery time? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be as, as good as to be. I can, I'm going home right now. My wife's going to drive. Things are a little cloudy, but I can see, uh, like I have my glasses on, things are quiet. Yeah. All right, before we go, got to put a number on the screen if we can. The Cleveland Clinic Laser Vision Center. They have free screenings. You can ask all the questions that are on your mind about this. The number is 216-444-2030. Tim and Donna, truly amazing. Bill Martin's feeling pretty good right now. See you yeah. later. Okay, guys. Thanks very much. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. And that's our news at 6 o'clock. That's right. Lots going on tonight. Hope you'll get together with us again at 10. Until then, though, have a great evening, and we'll see you later. Bobby.